Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is another video in our series on BIOS. We are in the Phoenix BIOS on a Toshiba computer and so we are continuing uh, our explanations of the different options of the BIOS. So, wake up on keyboard device. What's that? If your computer is in sleep mode you have an option where you can just press a power button and it's gonna actually start up your computer. But there's an option called wake up on keyboard device. It means that if you enable this device, it means that just a press on one of the keys on the keyboard will start your computer. Even in some um, options, computers that are completely turned off, uh, depending on the BIOS and the capabilities, uh, sometimes will turn on just by a uh, keyboard keystroke, meaning that you don't have to um, actually press that power button. Just you know, press any key on the keyboard, computer turns on. So it could be a very effective and nice option because you don't have to press that power button all at the time. So that's the wake up on keyboard device. Enabled does mean that it will work, so you just do a key press and your computer starts up. Disabled, well, you just know what it means. Uh, if you press any keys, nothing's gonna happen. Another option here, critical battery wake up. What does that mean? That's something about a laptop. So if you have your laptop computer, uh, most BIOSes have a version or, or this in different, sometimes different ways of explaining it, but pretty much means that when you put your, um, if you put your computer in uh, sleep mode, for example, a lot of people just take your, their laptops and when they want to, uh, you know, stop using it, they don't power it off. They just, you know, close the screen, for example, and computer will go into a sleep mode. Problem is, it's not totally turned off, so the computer still drains a little bit out of the battery when it's in sleep mode. So there's a time when this mode can be really critical, and you're thinking, hmm, okay, I've, I can't turn it on, and my battery's drained totally. Um, and it's not a good thing, because you should never drain your battery, your lithium-ion batteries on your laptop, completely all the time. From time to time, it's okay, but if you drain those batteries all of the time, forget it. You're not going to have uh, a very long usage on your batteries. So, uh, by doing a critical battery wake up and put it enable, it means that when the computer's battery reaches a certain low level, it's actually going to turn on your computer to let you know, hey, your battery is almost drained out, you should do something about that. So it's a good idea because it will prevent your battery from being drained totally. And uh, maybe sometimes, you know, people let their batteries drain out and they just don't understand my computer doesn't start up. Oh, well, it doesn't start up because battery is drained. So, critical battery wake up enables that option. Your computer starts up. Um, depending on the computers, from anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 percent when the battery is below 20 or 10 percent. I know on this Toshiba it's 10 percent. Um, computer, the computer is going to wake up and it's going to actually let me know, uh, hey, my um, your battery is dead. You should do something about it and plug in now. And I think it's a good way of uh, keeping track of your uh, batteries charged um, and of course like in, in every option this uh, option can be turned off it means that uh, it won't tell you anything even if the battery is being drained out um, one of the reasons why you might not want it to turn on is uh, if for example you forget it in your computer bag uh, what's gonna happen is that if you forget it there and the computer turns on you can actually burn out your computer because of the heat so it can be a bad thing to do and I would suggest that you not forget to actually turn it off completely before putting it in your computer bag. And the last option here in the advance on this uh, computer, this is a very very 
Toshiba typical option front edge logo if you got a Toshiba computer and I'll show you what's the front edge logo it's that little satellite logo here this satellite logo is on a lot of uh, Toshiba computers and uh, what happens is this little light can be turned on or off if you want I suspect that the reason why you can turn it off is probably to save on the batteries but this is a Dell, a little LED computer, uh, not the computer but light, a LED, a LED light I don't suspect that it changes much of the power in your computer so um, I'm not really sure why you should play with this option or even why it's available uh, maybe it's also something about you know being in the dark maybe you don't want that satellite logo to be on but um, new Toshiba's uh, seem to have uh, taken out that option because uh, basically it does cost a little more to produce a, a computer with that little line there so uh, it's really not useful to have it so uh, hey this was another video explaining the BIOS if you enjoyed these videos click the subscribe button at the top of the screen You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. If you want to add some comments, um, let us know also. And uh, hey, if uh, you enjoy this series, there's lots of videos coming up on the BIOS itself. So uh, you'll be learning more and more on how to uh, use the BIOS and what options are available and what they mean and how they affect your computer. So uh, thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.